Nostalgia is such a bizarre feeling, especially when it's related to video games. Nostalgia can be powerful enough to get you to drag your dusty PS2 out of storage. It can be powerful enough to get you to go out and buy a classic edition mini console, or even powerful enough to get you to download illegal ROMs. One way or another, reliving those games can be really enjoyable. Whether it's a game that meant a lot to you, personally, or just a game that has aged really well. That's just a good game in general. But as the era of the live service game continues, there are some games that are just lost to time. Or maybe you can still play them, but it's just not the same, whether it's thanks to the ever-changing player base or radical updates that just completely changes how the game looks and feels. Overwatch 1 doesn't exist anymore. It's been replaced with Overwatch 2. I bought Overwatch 1, I can't play it. Usually when a crappy sequel comes out, people will just tell you to play the old one. But that just isn't the case with Overwatch. Overwatch 1 has just completely lost their time at this point, along with the promises of its sequel. And I used to be obsessed with Apex Legends. I was pretty good at it when it came out, at least. And I used to make .exe MLG style edits when I was 16. Damn, boy! Don't let your kids watch it! That's where I started video editing, I wanted to make Apex videos. And after not playing this game for over two years, I tried reliving the glory days early this year. I was in the mood. Uh, and it was so damn miserable. The casual players have pretty much abandoned the game at this point, leaving only the sweatiest, grimiest, smelliest players in every single lobby. But one game, that really feels like a relic of the past is old Fortnite. Fortnite was at its cultural peak in 2018. Everyone was playing it. Everyone was talking about it. Ninja and Drake, Fortnite stream, <laughs> never forget. Ninja and Ellen, fuck you kid. Fortnite match, never forget. And in 2018, I was in eighth grade. I was 14 years old. I was the exact target audience demographic of this game. I played this game religiously from season three up till the beginning of chapter two at the end of 2019. And after that point, my interest in the game dwindled pretty much completely. I didn't like the new map. I was playing other games. I was turning 16. I was too old, too cool for Fortnite. Fast forward to today and Fortnite Battle Royale is seven years old. This game has gone through five different maps, has way more collabs than Smash Bros. It's a little bit like Roblox for some reason. And the average seven year old today makes Prime Ninja look like a clown. Over the years, I've semi ironically played a session of Fortnite every six months or so, just to see what's going on. And this game is completely unrecognizable at times. It is definitely better in a lot of ways, of course, uh, but it's hard to ignore how many ways it's gotten worse. I feel like this game has sacrificed a lot of its charm in favor of the infinite collabs. Also, the game's art style has changed in a lot of small ways that have totaled up to a pretty big difference when you haven't played for a while. The trees used to look a certain way, the guns used to have certain proportions, and the way that new skins look now looks different. You do get characters and skins that look like they would fit right back into chapter one, and I do really appreciate that, but They've definitely taken a back seat in favor of Bruno Mars and Peter Griffin and Lewis Hamilton and Aang and Eminem and Kratos and Shaq. You get the point. There are a lot of things I don't love about new Fortnite, but the worst of all, the most devastating, is the death of the default. Moment of silence. The addition of actual robot AI into the game has made it impossible to distinguish a newbie or default playing their first game from a soulless, lifeless robot that was just programmed to be bad. I will never fathom how anyone thought it'd be a good idea to add bots into every game of Fortnite. I understand a lot of online games will put you in a match against bots for your first game or two so that you get a hang of it. It just really defeats that feeling of tension throughout most of my matches because I get shot at and I turn around and see this. This is what's Fuck you, kid. trying to kill me. And it's just so lame because I'm left to assume that all bad players are just robots. 
which makes the kills feel just completely unearned and meaningless. I remember that getting 10 kills in a match used to be a pretty big deal, especially if you weren't like that good at the game. Getting 10 kills was a lot, but now it kind of feels hard not to get 10 kills. And on top of all that, it gives you a real false sense of confidence because you'll be walking around with like seven or eight kills. And as soon as an actual sentient player finds you, they really catch you with your pants down because my brain is still like used to turning around and seeing seeing that. I think the bots are in there for less seasoned <laughs> gamers to get a chance to get some kills because, you know, it feels good to get some kills, especially if you're not like great at the game and it keeps the game engaging. I really can't hate on that, even if someone like me might find it cheap and lame. I do believe this is at the root of most decisions that make up new Fortnite. I mean, it, it makes sense if you're trying to be the biggest game on earth. It makes sense to appeal to the most people, I get it. I mean, just after I started writing the script, Gabby Bell put out her video about how Fortnite has stayed relevant throughout the years, and she gives her perspective as a much more casual player. And after hearing her perspective, I get it. I 100% understand why the game would be more fun to you now than ever. It's more accessible than ever, it's more exciting than ever, and there's so many fun, recognizable figures and characters in the shop. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And this constant near hyper level of excitement draws me back to missing the simplicity of old Fortnite. Playing this game in 2024, there's always some crazy new weapon or item to use. It's usually really OP. A couple years ago it was the Kamehameha Blast, it was the Avatar water bending and element bending stuff earlier this year and just now as i'm recording this it's the iron man auto turret guns captain america shield it's like items that literally you don't even have to aim it just shoots for you i don't know it's just the simplicity and identity of the original game just feels completely lost a lot of the time don't get me wrong the collab events are cool but they're a constant as soon as the one expires, the next one is in. I was just trying to play a normal game and this was like Dr. Doom came out. I'm like, what is happening? I don't follow this stuff. I, I feel like old man yells at Cloud right now. That's crazy. Remember when something like the drum gun or the LMG was a big deal. That was a new exciting thing. All those funky low gravity crystals in season four. These things were so simple, but they changed up gameplay scenarios in an interesting way. That didn't completely change the way that the game felt. But what can you even do about it? I mean, this is just the result of a game that's been trying to outdo itself for the past seven years nonstop. This is just the point that it gets to. I think the reason that so many people miss old Fortnite so much is that it really is lost to time. Fortnite will never be the same as it was in 2018. And the same way that I will never be the same person I was in 2018. Same goes for you, same goes for everyone. Unlike booting up your childhood console to play some old games that you really liked, you can't just boot up 2018 Fortnite. Even if the OG mode came back permanently, I, j I still don't think it'd be the same. The player base is just not the same. The game is just not the same. The original menus, the old lobby, and that crazy skybox like this is stuff that you don't even think about but when you see them you're like damn damn the limited time modes that were just so simple on paper but drastically changed the way that the game was played if you were getting bored of the normal modes something as simple as snipers only or only gold weapons or that one mode that just had shotguns and the new jetpack i think the original 50 v 50 is so underappreciated. In that game, you couldn't respawn. There were 50 players on each team, they had one life. So every kill that you got mattered, and that really added weight to everything. Huge shout out and moment of silence for all the defaults that uh, revived me in 50 for 50 back in the day. You guys uh, will be missed. And by the end of season 10, players, including me, were really excited for a new map. Even though it was in a completely different state to how it was at the beginning of season 1, We'd had the same map for almost three years. We really did take that stupid thing for granted. It will forever be engraved in my mind. Time, 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 start time, 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 time. This one, okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, where are we now? We're at the freaky, uh, freaky haunted freak. Okay, 
Uh, time, time, time. That's okay, okay, okay. I know where this is. This is this the slope that's coming up here. Google Jarvis, Jarvis, give us time. Okay, here we are at the racetrack. At the racetrack. We're looking on it from here. Uh, okay, okay, Google, give me my time on that. Zero meters away. Thank you so much. This is huge for the culture. Uh, this is as you're leaving Tilted Towers. Someone call my 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 great grandfather. Tell him that. Um, you can't do much better than that, I don't think. That container yard with all the pallets, the maze at Wailing Woods, the huge chair at Shifty Shafts, that abandoned motel at the top of the map, all the little shacks that were dotted all over the place that everyone hid in at some point or another, the really tall watchtower in Lonely Lodge, Lucky Landing? When is the last time you thought about Lucky Landing? I'm betting half of you don't even know what that is. I feel like these old locations just had a different level of charm and memorability that these new ones are severely lacking. I mean, just look at how wonky and loose these old assets were. I mean, the cars look kind of funny. The door frames were all wonky and loose. This kind of thing like, is so small, but when you notice it, you're like, oh, I don't remember all the doors in Tilted Towers being so skew. But it's part of that cartoony charm. That old Fortnite style has become a really vague, cartoony style that isn't super creative. I'm probably the millionth person to say this at this point, but I really do miss old Fortnite. Maybe it's just because I was 14 and everything was kind of fun and the game was new and exciting. Maybe it was my friends that I used to play with that I don't talk to anymore. Shout out to you guys. Uh, maybe the game just was a lot better back then. Don't get me wrong, if you find enjoyment in the game right now, that's great. That's fantastic. Whether it's alone or with friends, I'm glad you feel catered to. This game today just looks and feels completely different to the game that I obsessed over in 2018. And it never will be the same, for better or for worse. And in a way, that temporary lost forever nature does make those memories feel special or whatever. I don't know, this is kind of corny. <laughs> if you catch yourself feeling like I am right now and you're reminiscing over old Fortnite, people have made really faithful recreations of the original map using the new Fortnite creative systems. It's really impressive. It's not the same, of course, but it's fun to walk around and explore those old spots. Uh, and if that's too much effort for you, I've been re-watching old C-Day videos, and I think his videos are such a good time capsule for the first chapter of the game from beginning to end. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe because in six years from now, I'm going to make a video about how I missed the old Concord. 2030 is in six years. That's, um, it's pretty disgusting. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you a lot later. Cheers. Thank you very much. Lil B. My favorite type of people are nerds, dweebs, dorks, and dinguses. Vroom, 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 vroom in a big pink truck. February 10th, and I'm gonna pull. Forces the molecules to go tiny. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm on a good cushion, alcohol.